guess that there was more uh, conversation at the planning board uh, and I think that we need to come out and decide exactly what our policy is here because I've had a lot of people question me about it on on trash. the trash yeah I mean I personally have felt differently but all there's at least four people on this board that made that uh, policy and I know that I was on the planning board and they wanted a policy be uh, made so that they could work with it that's what we did now what is the problem now at the planning board is there a problem I my reading of the minutes indicates that they wish they would they would like to consider picking up all the trash in town at all condominiums yeah that's it's, it's nebulous. Uh, it, they didn't come right out and say that, but they were concerned that this policy should not continue and trash should be picked up uh, so on every condominium. The planning board is, you know, uh, I, are they making, trying to make the no, policy? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Planning board, the planning board was, there, there were some members of the planning board that said one thing and some that felt the other way. The, the, the planning board did say is that it's the selectmen's is your, your choice that they're, they're the ones who are in charge of the trash and that they make the policy the individual was there talking about redoing his documents the planning board very clearly told him he has the right to do that and then he has to go back to the selectmen and the selectmen 99% will turn him down but if he wants to do, there's no way they can stop him and say, they felt there was no way they could say, no, you cannot go and, ch and, and have your, if you want to spend the money to do that, that's fine. But it, no matter whether the planning board supports it or doesn't support it, doesn't matter. It has to go to the select, the trash is in the hands of the, of the selectmen, and it has to go back to the selectmen, and they most likely will turn you down. I would yeah. say this in, in, in this argument, and uh, if the, the basis of Mr. Welch's research the condominium documents is if it's in the condominium documents that they have agreed to that in the planning process and have been approved, then the town does not pick it up. Our conversation with Mr. Kelly last week, and I abstained, was that it's in his condo docs. He had the gray ambivalence area thing going on, trying to build an $8 million project. We get that. Now, if it goes back, this is a different horse. It's removed from the condominium documents, as we perhaps led to that belief in the discussion. It's not in the condominium documents. That doesn't even go, in my mind, to the selectman's policy. It's not in the documents, which is the basis why we're not picking it up now. We pick it up. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's my interpretation. Uh, wait a minute. I don't understand what so, you mean. I do. <laughs> no. Are, are you're saying that we would pick it up if... Well, that's been the basis why we're not picking it up. It's in the condo docs as a condition of the approval in the building, and that correct. is the sole basis that we don't pick it up. Is that correct? Up until the recent amendment, uh, which spoke to new condominiums that were basically conversions of existing buildings that were built directly on the sidewalk, uh, so that you just wheel the carts out and leave them there. Um, but five or less. Five or less. At one right. time, it was they. It didn't. There wasn't a five or less. Right. And right. I was all for that. But there is a another situation. I mean, uh, how many foot frontage does he have there? Is it about fifty feet? Uh, well, no. It's actually more than that. I mean, uh, what would it be? One hundred and fifty feet. One hundred fifty, two hundred feet. Yeah. yeah. And um, how far do the carts have to be by our statute? To the carts should up? be between two and a half and three feet apart. So in it's order for the each. piece of equipment to go in and pick the uh, surface. Mm -hmm. Circle a cart, pick it up, and dump it in the, in the back of the truck. And the fact is, there's 26 carts there. I mean, there's 26 units there. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, 52 carts. So 52 carts. You couldn't possibly put them there under those, uh, you know, for that amount. Plus, who wants to look at 52 carts? But plus, do we have 52 carts? And, and the other thing and is... And he's willing to take only 10 carts, but, I mean, how can we... I don't see how we can... I, I think we've already we've already discussed this, oh, back this spring. 
and, and we came up with the, the rule, uh, the, our policy that it was going to be five or less. Um, I think if we, if, we, if we don't stick to that and we go down, start going down a slippery slope of picking, picking and cherry picking one or another, we're going to either have to do one or all of them. And why we did that is because of the planning board wanted a firm policy. But it, it's also, not only that, it's also because of if we start adding every condo project, and every condo project has 25 or 30 barrels. And I don't know if the public works directors in the audience right now can tell us how long it takes to pick up each barrel and how much each barrel holds. We're going to have to buy, I'm, I'm going to say, we're going to have to have at least two more trucks or three to pick up condo projects with barrels. And then we're going to have to have four to six employees more. So if, if the townspeople want us to pick up condos, then I think the only logical way to do that is have it a warrant article with a cost associated to that because we got to know that the cost is going to be increased for picking up that many more barrels. And, and the cost associated with that is going to be also the cost of having those trucks, hauling it, disposing of it, maintenance on the trucks, everything else. So I think we need, if, 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 some, if the town wants to do that, then I think it's going to have to be a warrant article so that we can have the whole cost in there. And it will be for everybody, not just one right. place. Right, we can't, we can't cherry pick and just yeah. do one. And that's why I'm wondering, is it possible for us to take a vote to reaffirm the policy? It's always possible for the board okay, to do well, that. I'll make that motion that Don't we, we already reaffirm have? it. Well, I'd like to reaffirm it. I've been slaughtered with people I'll about second. this question this week, and I'm motion. sick of it. Yeah. All right, are we debating it right now? Go ahead. All right, there's still the issue. cost right but there's still the issue that a person in a condo is spent is, is is paying exactly the same taxes as a person not in a condo and they don't they don't say that your taxes are less because and, and I know you can argue that but that that's the argument that he had and that's the argument that people in condos had that lived there that you you can say it's too expensive to do which is fine that's true I agree a hundred percent with that but their argument coming back is I am paying taxes the same as you are paying taxes and not getting the same services that you get. So I, I agree that if it's in the docks, that's one thing. But if it's not in the docks... But it's in the docks because that's when it goes to the planning board. Now, if they want to change their docks, then they have to go re reapply for that whole planning board. They can't just write it out of their docks and say... Oh, it's out right, of the right, right. No, they were told that. that. Yeah. They were told that. They can't and do Warren that. Was, they, they, he was told that. My issue is that there's not one us. other town that takes, I mean, we have a very liberal ball, a very liberal policy as it is with the five. There aren't any towns that take pick up condos. If you know of one, please let me know. No, no. I agree with you. There are none. No, I agree with you 100%. But we passed the Warren article saying we were going to pick up trash. We will continue to pick continue up. Continue to pick up trash. All right, so we not passed. Changing what we, not changing yeah. our past position. We continue to pick up the trash as we Nothing were. Nothing about okay. condos, except these five, possibly. I'm not sure that was in there. It wasn't in there, was it? No. No. You know, so well, we're just saying it, it, there is an argument. I know, but you, does that's, have an argument. this is something every board has faced this every time since I've been here, all 13 years, and it, it just doesn't fly that anybody has wants to change this condo thing. And I mean, I think that we, really that you, you know, that's why I think we should reaffirm what our policy is, so we know what it is. Well, we, have we have a, a first, we have a second. Yep, there's a motion to reaffirm that policy, and I, and I agree with the policy that anything under five, we will do so long as they can bring them out to the street. But anything over that, they have to pick up. Yes, sir. Just, just want to qualify it because we've been going through all the condo dock files that are in the record. Okay, we have a lot of condominiums with two people, two two units that have to take care of their own. Now, the only way to change that, and, and no, no motion you make because of the Constitution of the state can be retrospective. That is to say, you can't go back in time and change something. It, it, it goes forward from that point in time forward. And you can't change what's filed in the Registry of Deeds for these condo documents. So if we have, uh, and I think Campbell Drive is a, a wonderful example. Uh, basically, one side of the street, you have, uh, both sides of the street, you have uh, contexts, uh, two condos together in a, in a single building. 
Uh, one side of the Campbell street Drive. we pick up, the other side of the street we don't. Oh. Because of the way the condominium documents were originally written. One side of the street was by individual developers, one side of the street was by one developer. We have a lot of those. Now, I guess the question is, uh, those are legally binding because of the way the planning board did this. They made them a condition of approval. And the only way to change that and the only way to actually pick those up is to actually have each one of those individual condominiums go back to the planning board and file their condominium documents all over again, to start from scratch, as if they never existed, to take that item out. They have to go to public hearing, all the abutters have to be notified, there have to be all kinds of different things. The amendment has to be approved by town council. It's got to go to the attorney general's office for approval. It's a long, drawn-out process and extremely expensive. I just want to caution the board that we shouldn't be changing the way the condominium documents run because it's less than five. If it's currently required, we should be doing what's required in the condominium documents or eliminate them all. One way or the other, you got to have it. It's either what's recorded in the registry or it's not, and it's currently recorded. I don't think we should get into that slippery slope. Then, then what you're saying is that the less than five doesn't hold water. It, it holds water from the date you made that amendment. Right. You Forward. made that vote. You can't. It's like saying, okay, we're going to retrospectively change your assessment on your house. Yep. You can't do it. It's against the law. The Constitution forbids it. So. We can't make a rule that goes back in time. You can make it from that point on, and that's exactly what you've done. Yeah. Well, we did, before that rule was made, we did pick up others. We, we so. pick up every every condominium. Well, there are lots of condos we pick up. Some of them have as many as 20 and 30 carts mm -hmm. because the planning board never put the restriction requirement on. It depended on where it is and when it was done. And some of these go back into the 1970s, early 80s. There aren't many of them, but there are some. And we have to pick those up because there's no requirement in the condominium documents not to pick them up, and we do pick them up. But now we require that. Well, the planning board has required it to be in the condominium documents at this point. They don't have to require that. But the statute says, as the town shall provide, it's 149, I think it's L, if I'm correct. Uh, and my town council's back there with a thumb up in the air. What the statute provides is the town shall provide a place for people to deposit their solid waste. We don't have to have a transfer station. We don't have to collect trash. We have to provide a place for people to take it. And we have to do that by contractual obligation of some, some sort. So we do something much more extensive than that, a lot more than a lot of towns do. You know, some towns pick up trash and uh, residential only, no condos. Some towns pick up trash, no commercial. But we're one of the most advanced towns that picks up virtually everybody except for, for certain condominiums. And I remind you, some of those condominiums have roll-off boxes. Some of them have um, 20 and 30 yard boxes. Those require ex particular pieces of equipment to, in fact, pick that trash up. So. Again, so, so, we, so the motion we have is, is to reaffirm the vote that we took back in two months ago. Two months ago, yeah. uh, from that date forward, is what it states basically. It's currently on the record that way. Okay. I, I need to ask a, a parliamentary <laughs> sure, procedure. I hope somebody can answer it. <laughs> if I voted in the affirmative, bef affirmative before, can I change my vote? We don't operate under Robert Sewell's of order, so there is no parliamentary procedure. Okay, involved. so I can do whatever I want. Yeah, you got <laughs> it. <laughs> All those in favor? Opposed? Abstained? 3-1 one, and 1.